Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to talk about some baits today. Stay tuned. Okay, so uh, a while back last summer, I went and picked up a, a few baits from the local dollar store, but I never put them on a video. <clears throat> They're a series of soft plastic swim baits that are already pre-rigged pre with uh, hooks. Uh, they're made by Mako Baits. Uh, I tried looking for information on them online, and I, I couldn't find anything except for odd pictures from Dollarama Adventures and stuff. Uh, so we'll start with the small one. I'm going to get it unhooked here. As you can see, I'm working on the tackle wall again. So this is a silver shad. It's got a pretty janky cheap hook on the bottom. But the, the main hook here, it seems to be quite decent. It's, the hook may be janky on the bottom, but it is sharp. That split ring is a little big, though. I think it could be a little smaller. Uh, they feel like decent baits. This is a paddle tail. Uh, I seen a a mystery tackle box for January 2020. Uh, they get a swim bite, something like this, in there. It's the same color. And they call it a blue shad. I'm pretty sure that was just a silver shad on the packaging. Now, this one comes in a bigger color, a little bigger size here. This is a full one ounce paddle tail. Hooks are about the same. I love the color. Like, I haven't got them out and tried them out yet, but they feel like they're they're decent decent quality. There's a, another color. This is a perch. Same bait, different color. One ounce. And they also come in a fluke tail. So, there's a fluke tail perch. Well, I call it a fluke. It's just, I don't know. Should make some great motion in the water. And this one only comes with the one big hook here. And this is a half ounce bait. Still feels like decent quality. There's a, another color of that one. Same size. Same hook. I think there are three odd hooks. They're quite sticky, but it's a dollar store hook, so it's probably not going to be the greatest. And then you have... This is the, the fluke style that I was talking about. It's also in perch. I um, think this is a, a 3 8 ounce. Not exactly positive, but the plastics, they seem pretty good. Uh, lately, I found a lot of uh, decent lures at the dollar store. Now, I'm, I'm thinking about doing a dollar store uh, video again. Uh, maybe later, later in the summer once bass season opens, or maybe if they, I find some walleye baits there, we can use them for walleye. Uh, even though I'm pretty sure somebody's would work for walleye if you just bounce them off the bottom. Uh, just to attract them. Because you know, walleye are a lower water column fish. They like to hug the bottom. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. The, the Mako baits from the dollar store. There's also ones there that just say, just fishing tackle. Like, I, I don't think I'd trust the hooks or the, the weights that you get from there because they look like they're really cheap. But the spoons, the spinners, uh, the soft swim baits, the crank baits, I got a some, couple of those too. And I got the jointed swim baits from the dollar store also. You've seen them in a previous video. But I just wanted to shout it out there. If you're a, a budget fisherman and you need to find some decent baits that could probably work in your waters around you, 
and you got a local dollar store, go check them out. Go see what their baits are, see what they got, and if anything, they're cheap, just give them a try. Right? You can't go wrong with a cheap bait. Like, uh, these were uh, $3.50. And for an equivalent bait, even at shopcarls.com, you're looking at about $9.99 for a bait like this. So, it's worth a try. Let me bring it over here and show you the tackle wall a little bit. I've been working on it. I'm going to hang my moras on the wall underneath the packages here. And they're all the tackle boxes that are full. Got terminal, lipless crankbaits, top water, blades and spoons. There's jigs underneath there. And there's, what's that one? Uh, that's square balls. And then that's Stacy's tackle there. Can't wait to get the mystery tackle box coming back in next month. Uh, we've been, been getting Guggen baits in the mystery tackle box. So that's exciting. Saves me from buying them. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much all I have for you today. Uh, we'll be filming another podcast on Saturday afternoon. Uh, it's uh, We're going to have uh, Josh Lamb. On the couch with us. Uh, Fade Illusion. He's got a, a YouTube channel. I think he's got a couple videos up. He's a gamer. Uh, we're going to have him on the couch. And we're going to talk about his uh, drunken camping adventure. Uh, from a couple years back. So yeah. Stay tuned. Uh, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you next time on Bradshaw's Outdoors.